Ms. Jasmine. Yes. Okay, one thing is clear, definitely clear. College life is very different from high school life. Not only academically, but in our personal lives as well. Now, we don't have immediate access to our parents that can cook for us, clean for us, do our laundry, iron, and pick up for us, uh, pick up after us on a day-to-day -day basis. We have to figure out how to do these things on our own once we decide to live on our own. According to Tran Ham from the Social or the Social Dollar, he's a blogger at the Social Dollar. Um, folding clothes is simple and routine, but it, as it turns out, in reality, you're probably not doing it efficiently, and there's a more efficient way of doing so. And according to Chris Adams from Ergonomics.com, um, he says that the. Um, the folding board is a quick and effective way to fold your clothes, and according to him, using this folding board not only makes your uh, folding your clothes a breeze, but it makes them look fantastic as well. Um, in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to save time and money by folding your clothes. Um, at first, I'm going to show you guys how to fold clothes by creating and using a flip folding board like this. Secondly, I'm going to show you guys how to fold your clothes by upgrading this flip board so that you can create more compacted folded clothes. And thirdly, I'm going to show you guys all the Japanese technique of folding clothes, which once it's mastered, it takes you about two seconds to fold each shirt. I'm going to begin. First, you want to start off with a board that's approximately 22 by 28 inches long. And out of this board, we're going to create four panels. I'm going to start by cutting off the sides which are going to be about seven inches from the edge of the board to create two panels. This one is going to be panel A, and the next one that I'm going to cut off is also going to be called panel A as well, because we'll use these to pull the shirts from the side um, and the sleeves as well. So I've cut out a second panel A. With the remaining section of the board, you want to cut it approximately in half, so it creates two more panels. Now we have panel B and a panel C, and two panel A's. Now to put this thing together, you want to start off by grabbing one panel A and the panel B. You want to attach panel B to the upper right-hand corner of panel A, and tape them together from the front. Next, you want to fold over panel B above panel A and tape it from the back as well. We have our first section of the foot folding board. Next, we want to grab the second panel A and attach it to the right-hand side of panel B. By doing the same thing, you want to tape it in the front. So it looks like this, and you want to be able to fold it and tape it in the back as well. Now we just have one more missing section. That's going to be panel C. With panel C, the only section you want to tape to the board is going to be at the top, which is going to connect panel B and panel C together. boxes as well. So I've created the board, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys all how to fold your very first shirt using this folding board. You want to take a shirt, and you want to make sure the graphics are going to be facing the board, so facing away from you. And you want to lay it out across the split, uh, folding board, and then you want to fold over panel A from the left, and then from the right, and then you just flip over panel C. And voila, you have a perfectly folded shirt. That was really easy to do. And once again, you can even take a bigger size shirt, a larger size shirt. 
As long as the print is facing away from you, you lay it flat on the folding board. You fold her over side A, the right side A, fold over C, and there we have it, another nicely folded shirt. <laughs> Now, for those of you whose drawers aren't this big or this deep enough, you can always upgrade your, um, your folding board so that you can create more compacted folding for yourself. What you want to do is you want to take out or cut out two more pieces of um, cardboard or foam as I did, um, and you want to make sure that they're only nine inches long, so about the same size as the base of panel C. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape these to my flip folding board. So with the first section, I'm going to tape it to, I'm going to hold it at the bottom of panel C and I'm going to just tape the top of it. So I'm able to flip it over as well. And I'll do the same at the top of panel B. And I will show you guys how to fold your shirts in a compact way. So you want to take your shirt, you want to lay it face down. You fold over panel A again. But this time, instead of pan uh, folding panel C all the way over, you just want to fold that little panel that you cut out from the top and the bottom. And now you have a compactly folded shirt that you can easily fit into any size drawer, whether it's in a dorm room or what have you. And I'll show you guys all how to do that again. You fold over sides A, and then simply the little panels that you cut out. And we have a small, compacted size shirt. The last technique I'm going to show you guys is the Japanese way of folding your clothes. This looks pretty fun. Um, it takes a while to get used to, but once you've gotten used to it, it's really easy and it takes about two seconds to fold each shirt. What you want to do is you want to lay a shirt flat on the surface and you want to go about half the length of the shirt. So you draw kind of like an invisible straight line. And then you're going to be pinching three times. The first pinch is going to be with your left hand and you're not going to move it. You pinch about two, uh, two inches away from the side of the shirt. And you want to make sure you're pinching both the top of the shirt and the bottom of the shirt. Then I want to take my right hand and I want to bring it in a symmetrical line or a parallel line all the way to the end of the shirt and I'm pinching in two places. Now leaving my left hand here with that pinch, I'm going to take my right hand and I'm going to fold over and I'm going to grab the end of the shirt. And when, when I'm holding the end of the shirt, I'm keeping that pinch and I'm also pinching the end of the shirt. Now my hands are crossed and what I'm going to do is uncross them, kind of shake it off, Lay it down with that sleeve right there, and then fold it over, and then you have a nicely folded shirt, which you can complete in about two seconds once you've got it down. Once again, I'll show you guys how to do it. So you want to fold it about halfway along, about two inches from the side. Bring your right hand and pinch from the top of the shirt. Bring it all the way down to the bottom. Uncross your hands. Lay it flat and just fold over, and then you have another neatly folded shirt. In this demonstration, I showed you guys all efficient and easy ways to fold your own laundry um, in a way that's not really going to wrinkle your shirts at all, and they're all going to be about the uniform same size. Um, my first technique, in my first technique, I showed you guys all how to create a flip folding board and how to fold your shirts in a simple standard way. In my second demonstration, or in my second technique, I showed you guys all how to upgrade that folding board so you can create compact folding sizes to fit any size drawer. And in the third way, I showed you guys all the famous Japanese folding technique, which you can complete in about two seconds. Um, now that you've learned all these techniques, you can start going home and organizing your room and not having any um, wrinkled shirts on the floor or in the laundry or anything like that. Thank you.